horrible fashion trends that should never make a comeback. Parachute pants. Parachute pants are basically a hybrid of harem pants, where the area from the knee up is considerably bigger and the crotch is halfway down the leg. MC Hammer made these pants iconic with his 1990 music video for the song, You Can't Touch This, and then everyone was trying to emulate the look despite how god-awful it was. Gold Lame. Gold Lame suits have made multiple comebacks throughout the 20th century. They made their debut with the singer Elvis Presley, but even his good looks couldn't make the shiny fabric cool. After a brief hiatus from the king, they made a reappearance in the 1980s in the form of vests and pants along with leggings. LeMay doesn't look good on anyone and should never appear again. Bustles Bustles were used in the Victorian times to make your butt look bigger and your waist smaller. If your derriere was larger, it was a representation of wealth and class. If you think this trend only took place in the 19th and early 20th century, take a look on the internet. Women today are still trying to make their butt look bigger in inhumane proportions by buying padding online. Rat tails Rat tails are a single long piece of braided hair in the back of the head that is considerably longer than the rest of your hair, and they were very popular in the 1980s. Today, sporting a rat tail is considered to be very redneck or country. Plus, if you're wearing a hat, it looks like you're actually hiding a little creature under there. Zoot suits. Zoot suits are described as being exaggerated and larger than life which is pretty accurate since they're basically oversized suits. However, this trend was popular in the 1930s in the midst of the Harlem Renaissance and was popular among the black and Mexican communities who could pull it off. Today, the zoot suit is worn as a gangster costume at parties. Overalls on one shoulder. Unless you're planning to be the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, don't wear your overalls just one shoulder. Actually, let's keep your overalls in your closet in a box where it belongs. At one time in the 80s and 90s, they were considered to be fashionable but they're more of a practical dress to protect your skin and real clothes from harsh conditions on the farm. They also tend to make people look larger than they are. Disco suits. If someone is seen wearing a disco suit, especially one in the light or pastel color, they are considered to be dated and out of style. The disco suit was popular in the early 1980s thanks to John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever, but it never survived past that era. Matching tight suits with platform shoes are a thing of the past and should stay that way. Giant wigs. Large powdered white wigs were considered not only to be fashionable in the 18th century, but also a sign of high class and wealth. While you may be thinking it's silly to fear the impending return of this old fashion trend, consider the fact that people are buying wigs and weaves to try and make their hair look bigger. Perhaps we're just a few decades away from sporting these large wigs once more. Track suits. Although many chavs still sport this sporty look, it's been dead since the 90s. Even worse, its descendant, the shell suit, became even more popular with flashy neon colors and funky designs. Unless you're going for a job on a rainy, windy day, leave the tracksuit in the past along with the oversized boombox it came with. Sagging Pants Despite years and years of people showing utter disgust for this look, the sagging pants seem to make a comeback every few years. Gang members and cool kids will pull their pants down past their butt, holding it all together with a belt. In desperation to make sure the trend doesn't return, people have started rumors, including that sagging pants are a sign in the prison system that one is open to sex.